we've seen hope renewed and dreams restored because of young donors like this. Rafe is an inspiration to so many and uh, today we celebrate this great milestone and this great uh, work that Rafe has, has done. Before we did not have a structure and so the students would have, we had nowhere for them to sleep during break time and they had to be clustered in just a one room that we shared. But with this venture, we are able to spread out. Now they have their own play area, they are fenced, they are secured, and they have their own furniture. We're really happy that Food for the Poor came on board with our donor rave, and I really want to thank them that they have decided to really partner with us. This partnership has meant a lot. What it has also done is boost our, our population. More persons have come on board, our our popular student population has increased and we really want to give God thanks for this partnership which has really blossomed. The colors are bright, the children are engaged and the, 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 the play area is just dynamic and we are really happy to have food, on the, food for the Poor coming on board to really assist us. Ray's always been really special and he's always had ideas like it's you know he's always wanted to help like when his school needed a building Rafe really felt like I need to raise money to help build this building that they had a hard time finding money for. And he, he always wants to help. And when Delane came to the school, I, I think, you know, I have to be honest, we heard about Delane for days and days. You need to meet this woman, she's incredible. The things that she's doing in her organization, mom, are unbelievable. And he said, you need to come with us to Food for the Poor to, to on our, our trip, our school trip. So we said yes, and when we went, we realized how he was so moved. And he said to us, you know, Mom, I'm very fortunate. And we said, yes, you are very fortunate. And he said, I, I need to help. I need to give back, Mom, because I have so much I want to give back to people and give them opportunities, the opportunities that I have. So, of course, you hear that from your nine-year-old child. And we were like, okay, what, were you, what are you thinking about? What do you want to do? I had to do a golf tournament because I always go to charity events and I, I love golf and I wanted to help it through golf. So I started the Rafe Cochran Golf Classic, which the first year was super successful, and I raised over $41,000 and was able to build nine homes in Haiti. And after that, I was talking to Lane, and I knew that she was from Jamaica, and I, my next goal was education. I wanted to help kids achieve their goals through education. Help them be educated will help them in life, I feel. So I wanted to help and that's where I got involved with Jamaica and Food for the Poor told me about this school and I said I need to help them. So my next charity event raised over $70,000 and I was able to build this school and it's incredible. I was impressed. But my mind was blown when I saw the donor. Because you see, I am coming with an idea in my head that I'm going to see an adult donor. <laughs> Perhaps a retiree. <laughs> and then here I come and I see a 12 years old. <laughs> and that does not match in my head. <laughs> no 12 year old donates a building of that quality. So Mr. Rafe, I am so impressed with you. Rafe, your contribution will not only affect the school, it will affect the entire community of Chester. What you have done, only God alone knows. Because it's not only about what you have given, it's also about who you are. And I pray that for years to come, the story of what you have done will live on so that those who come to this little school will understand that they are educated in this beautiful facility because of the contribution of one who is like them. To all our stakeholders involved in this project, we thank you wholeheartedly for your hard work and commitment to Jamaica's children. To the school board and principals, we salute your efforts and overall dedication to the students of the community. Ladies and gentlemen, this building will be in place where students will build their dreams and aspirations. The best gift you can give is education to the children. Every single child has to be taught. I had the pleasure of teaching Rafe Cochran, my student. 
um, in third grade I was his homeroom teacher plus advanced math teacher it was really my pleasure having him I want to say that he inspired me not only me inspired so many of my other students now they are taking his path and they are helping Haiti and other places he has actually placed the seed in our classroom now it is growing around the school if your child has any dreams or passions it's sort of I think our job to help guide them help promote them give them the opportunity for them to go out and do what they want to do and with Rafe you know which is our only situation to really go by it's his passion and what we've done is to help make situations possible for him so that he can go out and make it happen it has been an exciting adventure because we've seen hope renewed and dreams restored because of young donors like this. Rafe is an inspiration to so many and today we celebrate this great milestone and this great uh, work that Rafe has, has done. Um, Food for the Poor is a tremendous organization and have we don't only feed the hungry but we're able to bring about sustainability and housing and clean water and sanitation to those who have absolutely nothing. This school will give the opportunity of education which will change your lives by helping people achieve their goals. My advice to all of you is to focus on school and to never give up.